This lesson is going to be discussing how um, your ticker tape lab report is going to get its uh, spreadsheets and its uh, graphs. So if you scroll down, you're going to notice that in this area right here, you should have your force diagram inserted. And below your force diagram, we have the data table. So this data table, if you can copy and paste your data table right here, or take a screenshot of it and insert it into this data table right here, that way you don't have to actually manually enter in all of your numbers. Next, we're going to take a look at the graphs. The first graph you're going to be ne needing to insert is the position uh, versus time graph. So you're going to click on this graph uh, image and you're going to press delete. And that removes that image. And just like we've been doing in the past, we're going to create a computer generated image. You open up your data. And in this case, we were looking at position versus time. And you notice that in column C, you have position. In column B, you have time. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to highlight the information that is key. So our first column we want to highlight is column B. Just highlight the data. Do not hi highlight the actual words. After you've highlighted your data, you're going to go to the corner and click the Insert Chart button. After you've clicked that, you're going to go into Start and select Ranges. We need to add one more range. Right now, it's just recording time. So we add another range. I've scooted uh, my screen to the side because it's um, going to be on top of that next column I'm going to want to include data in. And so we said time versus position. So next we are going to highlight the data in position. And press OK. All right. Next what we want to do is identify the type of graph we want. We would like to have a scatter graph. And I'm going to click the red and blue buttons. And I get a nice curved graph, exactly how I expect it to be. And lastly, we need to start customizing. So in the Customize section for the title, we're going to call this the Effects of Position at Different, at different Times. Next, we're going to label the axes. The horizontal axis is now going to be called time, and that's going to be in seconds for our units. I click the left vertical button, and I have position, and that's going to be in centimeters. And once I've completed that, I'm going to press Insert. So now I have a nice graph. I'm going to save that graph. And just a reminder how to save, you're going to go into that corner. You're going to save image. And once you have saved that image, you're going to go back into your document. You're going to click Insert Drawing. And from there, you're going to click this Image button. And using the line, draw the curve on the graph and then press save and close. So that will help you get you to generate the position versus time graph. Let's now do the velocity versus time graph. Again, you're going to click this image, you're going to delete it, and you're going to go back into your spreadsheet. I'm going to delete this graph because I no longer need to use it. And this time, I'm going to look at how far, how fast did it travel in any given uh, 0.1 of a second. So in this case, we're going to still do time. But instead of doing position, we're going to do displacement. Like, how quickly did it move in that uh, one-tenth of a second? 
So again, I'm going to highlight my time. Click the chart button. Select ranges. I need to add one more range. I'm going to scoot this screen to the side because the range that I would like to use is displacement from previous interval. So that's my column D. I know some people have different columns. And I press OK. Again, I want to identify what sort of chart I have. It's going to be a scatter graph. I click the red and blue, and I get a nice straight line, exactly how I would expect it to be. And this chart is going to be the effects of velocity. over time. Here my axes are going to be labeled differently. I'm going to have time again being my horizontal axes. I'm going to have velocity in centimeters by 0.1 seconds. being my y-axis label, and press insert. All right, again, I save that image. I insert it as a drawing into my document, and I create a best fit line. So for the first one, the position over time, you're going to connect the dots. But for the effects of velocity over time, you want to get a be best fit line because you should expect to see a straight line. And that ends our lesson. Oh, the last part is I also want you to take an image, uh, record an image using your phone where you're snapping a picture of your um, ticker tape actual graph and insert that as well. And that ends that.